Something very exciting just happened. Steve and I have been training Zoe on the bells, so she rings the bell by the door when she has to go potty, and she just rang it for the very first time. Everyone say congratulations to Zoe. I'm about to leave, I'm late. Going, no, <laughs> going to cake tasting for my wedding, and Zoe just likes to follow me and run out the door. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was like, okay, prep starts Saturday. I was like, well, good thing I scheduled cakes for Friday. Mom, where are we? Cake tasting day! The best Look day! It. This is like the number There's one place in Indiana, so. When no one knows. We're excited. It's not lonely. It's a necessary thing. It's a place I made up. Found out what I made up. The nights I've stayed up. Counting stars and fighting sleep. Let it wash over me. Ready to lose my feet. Take me off to the place where one reviews life's mystery. Steady on down the line. So, we really like all of them. So, we're not going to give away what we like because I don't want to give away my cake flavors. But we basically have yellow, white, red velvet, lemon lavender, and lemon orange almonds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, those are the dates right there. We can tell each other secrets and remember how to love. Da da dum da dum dum dum. Da dum dum dum. Da da dum dum. Da da dum da dum dum dum. Da da dum dum dum. Da da dum dum. saw we did some wedding tasting and we had some coffee and we went to Patichu which is my favorite place here in Indiana it's like a, fe a French bistro place I don't know it's been my favorite since I've moved here and I love it so today is my last hurrah tomorrow we start prep guys and so today I've had <laughs> you don't start prep I start prep well he's kind of on prep he's like bulking like he's strictly counting his macros for bulking, but he's like on crazy macros. Like I don't even think I could eat that much. <laughs> um, but I'm starting tomorrow. So today, honestly guys, I'm not really tracking at all. Like it's kind of a free day for me because I know what I eat on a daily basis and I'm not gonna like go crazy by any means, but I definitely am enjoying some food that I know I won't be able to on prep so tonight I might have some wine with my friend Kayla and uh, like you just saw I had cake and all that stuff so I'm gonna you know have some meals that I don't that I know I won't be able to enjoy um, before we start tomorrow because it's gonna be a long road how many weeks is my prep Steve 27 27 weeks it's not that long what is it I'm gonna find out for you guys one second. Okay, 18 weeks including peak week. So really 17 weeks, which is not bad for a prep. So that is what we are dealing with. And so I can't have wine for 17 weeks, but that's okay because I really want that uh, pro card and I really wanna give my best. And last time we only did like an eight or nine week prep for junior nationals because I came to Nick a little late and then I had like that cruise and yada yada. So I'm excited to see what we can do uh, this time around. You guys have seen me on my growing phase this entire time since July we started growing. And so that has been really great. I feel like I have gained a good amount of muscle mass, especially in areas that I needed to like my glutes because you guys, I'm gonna be honest, when you diet as a female and you get down to those low, low macros and low body fat percentage, your glutes are gonna go away. So I'm hoping mine don't go too far away because my butt was like a pancake last time at the end of my prep and it was really sad. So I hope that I've put on enough mass to maintain those glutes a little bit more this time. But I've had a great off season. I feel better mentally and physically than I ever have in my entire life. I feel balanced. I feel 
well rested, I feel calm, I feel strong, I feel really good. Just really good. So this has been really good for me. Uh, I don't have any cravings like at all. Um, I don't feel like I need to like binge on any food because I can't have something. I just feel really balanced and yeah, so it was a great, I learned a lot, a lot about my body. Um, I push food more than anything. My final macros are, which are actually today, 320 carb, 65 fat, 165 protein for leg days. Upper body days are, they're kind of a mix because I do like a shoulder day and a back day. Uh, I do 300 carb, 65 fat, 165 protein, and then rest days, uh, we do 265 carb, 75 fat, 165 protein. So that's what we're ending with, guys. And that is honestly higher than I ever have been in my life. So it's been a long journey since July, and I'm excited, and I'm ready, and I'm... I'm feeling ready. Uh, I needed that. I needed that long, long off season. I mean, it wasn't too long, but it was long for me because I'm always used to like doing something. But I needed it mentally, physically. I just needed to take some time and grow and not put myself in a state of starvation. If you guys are new to my journey, I have done four NPC shows. I've done two regional. I've done two national. I did get third place at, at Universe at my second national show. So I was two points off from getting my pro card. So I'm really hoping this year it happens for me. I mean, if it's supposed to be, it will be. I will bring my best. I will do everything I can. I will count every macro. I will kill every workout. I will hit my fasted cardio. I'll get in my rest. I'll get in my water. I'm gonna do it all, guys. Feeling ready. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. I uh, I'm really excited to start this series like I said in my last video. I'm very excited um, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys my macros because I don't want Me to get so so low that you guys copy that um, Like so if you guys see me be really really shredded I don't want you guys to think that low low macros are okay I mean low low macros for about a month are okay on your body like that's not gonna do any me metabolic damage, but I don't want to throw something out there that, that can hurt you guys and you take it and run with it. So I don't know if I'm going to put my macros out there anymore, but I will do like physique updates like I did in my last prep series of me just posing in my bikini for check-ins to see how my body progresses from now until uh, show date. But it is an extreme. I want to preface this series with this is an extreme, guys. So. I don't want you to copy what I do, I guess. I don't want you to mirror me unless you're like doing a show for yourself because it is very extreme. And as you can see, I do not walk around that shredded all year round. Like it's not a sustainable thing. So if you're looking to get that lean, I really hope that you realize it's not a sustainable look. I guess you can say like fitness models and everything they don't look like that all year round like they peak for that specific day and they look that way for that specific day but they don't necessarily look that way you know any other day really like I look the best on my show day but after that and before that I mean you don't want to strive for that every single day unless you're like doing a show or something so it's definitely an extreme. I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, I love you guys and I care about you and I want to make sure that I kind of put that out there before we start this prep series. Hey. Hey guys, this is Clubs. Of course, you know who this is. We're going to have some wine tonight. And our, cho our choice tonight. Our choose tonight. <laughs> our choose. Our choose. Uh, this is Clubs Choosing. The Dreaming Tree. It's by Dave Matthews. Jack Johnson. <laughs> no, it's not. Dave Matthews. So, we'll let you know how it is. But I'm going to sign off because I'm going to enjoy this wine with clubs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Prep, day one. Let's go. Woo! 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 Okay, bye.